There are extraordinary opportunities in hematology, perhaps more than, than most other fields. You could think of hematology almost as the space program of, uh, of medicine. The area of personalized medicine and targeted therapy is epitomized in hematology. We've really been able to identify at a molecular level what goes wrong. And once you can identify what goes wrong, then you can start to try and figure out how do I fix it. The basic work of how stem cells work and what they do came from the field of hematology. Hematologists were thinking about molecular abnormalities when I was in my training. They were ahead of the game. They were my mentors. They were the people that I wanted to strive to be like. And I thank them for encouraging me along the way. I used to go to clinic and most of my patients were not going to live. And I'd have to have end of life conversations. Now I go to clinic and everyone's a long-term survivor. That's hard not to hug you all the time. <laughs> Every year there's a new era of discoveries that require a whole new path that wasn't predicted in the year before. Any headaches, double vision, the profession of hematology, Very genetics, patient. is progressing at a rate that will hopefully find a cure for sickle cell disease within the next decade. Mr. Townsend, how are you today? Yeah. We need community-based practices because we need to provide care to patients. The patients like coming close by. They don't like to have to drive miles away to be taken care of. In private practice, you're not isolated. You, are, you have access to the latest research by going to the internet, by reading the latest journals, and also attending the annual meeting of the American Society of Hematology. You go to those meetings, follow-up of the meetings where people distill many of the important things down who are experts in particular area, and you're up to date. I was in pain. You were in pain. You were in pain for a long time, huh? Because they have these chronic diseases, we get to know the patients as people. We diagnose them as babies. We follow them through childhood. We follow them through adolescence. And in some cases, we continue to follow them as adults. Well, zebrafish, in terms of blood development, are very close to humans. We have fish in our system that have the exact same mutation that causes hereditary spherocytosis in humans, and the fish also has spherocytosis. We're planning on using the zebrafish to find chemicals that can actually alter spherocytosis. These have really dramatically shrunk with the treatment, which is great. You had, in some dimension, almost a football kind of right in here. I mean, he came in and he was dying. He had airway obstruction, couldn't breathe, had to be intubated. Here he is a month later. He's a, really a beautiful example of how quickly chemotherapy can work. Uh, it's a special feeling to be able to make an impact for patients in this regard and to have this relationship with them. Chemotologists are also the kind of people who love a challenge. All of the sort of interesting problems get referred out to specialists. I would rather be the specialists. Okay, hot off the press. This is a very interesting one over here. It's a really funny shape, actually, and it almost... Those of us in the field find this the most fascinating area of medicine because of the ability to directly study the disease. And uh, how long will it take? How long it'll take? Mm -hmm. About 10 minutes once we do the smear. Oh, okay. Okay, here's the slime. That is absolutely amazing as a doctor to be able to take the problem, run downstairs, and look at it under the microscope. I think this rotation has given me more of a scope of just how hematology pervades all of the different issues, all of the different services in a hospital. There's a lot of hospital time, there's clinic time to it. You do get everything from working with the microscopes to spending a lot of bedside time. It seems like a nice mix for us. If you're somebody interested in doing clinical trials, there's so many going on in this field. These things are happening here. This is going to be one of the most rapid areas for translation of what we discover in the lab here into the clinic. Once we discover a gene that we think is fueling that disease or helping to initiate it, we're able to go after that. If you can put together passion, talent, curiosity, and persistence, what you can accomplish is, is unlimited.